Hey church, great to be with you today for um, this devotion. My name is Darren and I am one of the pastors at Audacious Church based at Manchester campus. And I'm just going to talk to you for the next few minutes about my miracle. In Isaiah 35 verse 5, it says this, the blind will be able to see and the deaf will here. I have a vivid memory from when I was five years old. I was playing in the school playground of the Annex. That was the name of the school that I was at at the time. And it was the um, the school that you went to as a receptionist, um, in reception class, I should say, before you went to big school, to Tottington South, it was. And it was called the Annex. And I loved it. I loved it there. It was full of fun friendship and adventure. We would go exploring. It was absolutely um, amazing. And I just have viv a vivid memory um, um, of this school and a moment at this school. At the time, uh, my older brother was um, unfortunately going um, deaf. He was losing his hearing consistently and he needed several operations to ensure that this didn't become severe um, uh, and that he didn't lose his hearing um, completely. The church was praying. We were praying as a family. My mum would quote Isaiah 35 verse 5 all the time. It just rings in my head. The, de the death will hear. We had it written out in the house. As a five-year-old, I remember it. But this day, I remember uh, my, my brother was going for a scheduled operation or appointment. And uh, I remember pr um, playing in the uh, in the school playground of the annex, a big old church building um, that had been converted, and it had big um, uh, railings all the way around. And I was playing, and I could see my mum with my brother coming in the distance. And I started to run over to these railings, and and I could see that she was crying, and my brother was smiling. And as I ran over, my mum is beckoning me towards. Um, the towards her, uh, we got to the railings. So there's me, there's my mum, there's my brother, and and there's the railings right there. And I'm peering through them, like you do with railings like this. I wasn't in prison; it was a school. And um, I'm I'm peering through. And my mum leant down and she whispered. She whispered this, and she said, "Your brother isn't deaf anymore. Jesus has healed him." My five-year-old brain just exploded in wonder. I'm looking at my brother who can now hear me talking to him. And I'm like, oh my goodness, Jesus has healed him. That is the only explanation of this. And it was incredible. And um, no longer having to shout and just the, the, the change that it brought. But the faith to a five-year-old that, that happened. Wow, Jesus does heal. My brother could hear and I don't have to shout anymore. I never forget those words, that moment of my mum just whispering through those railings, Jesus has healed your brother. Um, her faith never, ever wavered. She just believed. She knew. She knew Jesus could heal and believed that he was going to. She taught her kids, these three of us, and she, she taught us constantly and consistently this 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 element Jesus heals 41 years later this miracle is a foundation stone in my life i know my god heals i have seen time and time again evidence of this he has authority over the natural and wants to bring us into the supernatural he wants us and those around us to see miracles and healings i've learned um, i've learned from my mum that my first part of call should always be jesus when sickness comes we pray and ask when tough times come we pray and seek when accidents happen and you have nowhere to turn and it seems like death is knocking on your door you cry out the name of Jesus I've been there all those situations and every time Jesus has been there for for me and my and my family not always in the way uh, that I wanted or expected but definitely in what I needed he has healed me my children my friends and strangers I, I've got countless stories of seeing people people healed in 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 my family with my children countless stories um of being at an AOG conference many many years ago and seeing a lady pushed in in a wheelchair and walk out I think I was I was 10 years old in that moment and the whole camp was talking about this lady who had gone into the big marquee in a wheelchair and had walked out and uh, because the 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 speaker had laid hands and and healed that she'd been healed 
uh, and it was absolutely incre incredible. And I've got, I've got these stories and I tell myself and I remind myself of these stories right back from when I was five, this first miracle that I saw um, and can remember peer, peering uh, through the gates and hearing those words. And I, I tell myself this story to lift my faith and encourage myself. And today I would encourage you, let's all do this. Let's remember what he has done for us. Let's remember the miracles that we have seen and the healings that you have seen. Let's not talk them away or think, oh, maybe it was, it was this. It was Jesus. These moments in your life, peering through the gates, hearing the quiet whisper, Jesus heals. And take this faith to the miracles that you need now, to the healings that you need now. Remember what he has done. Remember what you've seen and know that he is still doing the same. Jesus heals. And let's also tell others our stories. Let's not hold back in saying, hey, when I had this situation, I prayed and this changed, this miracle happened, the, the migraines that I had, the the anxiety that I had, the, the cancer that I had. I, I prayed, the church prayed, my family prayed, and I was deaf, and now I can hear. Let's tell these stories. Let's share our miracle moments. Let's be bold. Let's be courageous. Don't hold back from telling people that our God heals. Love you, church. Let me pray for you. Anybody out there that just um, who is listening, who needs a healing, a miracle this morning, I pray in Jesus' name for those with migraines, those suffering with migraines, I pray in Jesus' name that that will stop, that you will be released from these migraines, that they will no longer bother you or be a part of your life. We pray against migraines, pray against anxiety and depression, pray into those two things. Pray for people with um, bad backs and sore backs. We pray healing over your back in Jesus' name. And I pray, I pray for cancer. I pray against cancer in Jesus' name for those that when that name is uttered, that we don't feel fear, but we turn to Jesus and we say, in the name of Jesus, I will be healed. And I pray for people today who need a touch, who need a healing, whatever, whatever it is, whatever name it has, that it is not greater than the name of Jesus. And I speak the name of Jesus over you in, in Jesus' name. Amen. Have a great day, church. Love you. Um, keep praying, keep believing, and keep knowing that our God heals.